Bang! Knees and eyes. I'm Jared, my lovely wife Kara's playing her game, and today I am doing a knife talk. First off, I just want to say Happy Halloween to everybody. It is October 31st, and it's also Saturday, which if you guys know, we do lives every Wednesday and Saturday at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. You have to know, Central Time. And we're not going to miss tonight's live, so there will be a live tonight 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Hopefully you guys can make it. And if you've noticed, I haven't, well, you might not have noticed, but I haven't monetized the last few lives. Now, yeah, you can still donate, you know, to the channel while you're live or while you're there, but I haven't been monetizing the videos after because they are very long and I've wanted people to get an opportunity to watch them without having to sit with a bunch of ads because it's such a long video. So if you don't have time to make it to the live, maybe you can make it after. So, and then that way you don't have to worry about ads. So let's get into today's video. Today's video is about what would you change? So a lot of knives are absolutely fantastic. And I know some knives here are the same knife kinda, um, but Basically, what I'm ta what I'm talking about is sometimes there's those knives that are just fantastic, right? Like you get them and you're like, man, that knife is so perfect. But I would change that one thing. Also, this was the Cold Steel Code Four with the clip point. This is the Spyderco Gale Bradley Two that I modified. But what I'm talking about is sometimes you find that knife and Maybe you haven't gotten it in hand yet, but you've seen it, you buy it, and now you get it in hand, and you're like, man, this thing is so great. But if this one thing was different, it'd be so much better. And it doesn't mean like that it'd be so much better for everybody, but so much better specifically to you. So, and sometimes people find found a knife and they say, I wouldn't change a thing. And maybe there is that knife. And if, if you found that knife, that there's nothing you would change. Not one thing on it. Let me know down in the description one of those knives. But I find that there's almost always something I would change. Now, not always though. Because sometimes there's a knife. And maybe it's not like the perfect knife for you. But there's nothing you would really change on it. It's good the way it is. It's perfect the way it is for its profile, its frame, its, you know, so on and so forth. But maybe there's a different knife that's just perfect. But there's that one thing you would change. So I'm going to go down the list of these knives and say what I would change on them. If, you know, given the opportunity or if I would have designed it, whatever. So like, let's go back to the code four. I think this knife is amazing. This knife is so awesome. What a great work knife. And, you know, it doesn't have the best ergos because it's thin, but I find that that's pretty, that's what's pretty awesome about it is that it is so thin that, it, you know, it's nice in the pocket, even though it's such a big full size knife. You can get a full grip on it in any way. It has a nice, beautiful grind. I prefer the drop point version. But this is still a fantastic version. Every version. I even like the Tonto version that it has. Because it has such a nice thin Tonto. And I love nice thin Tontos. But my favorite version. Even though I like them all. Is the drop point version. Now what would I change on this? There's one specific. Two specific things that stand out. One. This back lock. Now. It's not very comfortable to unlock you keep doing this it, it takes a good amount of pressure to push it so what would be cool is if it had that little um indention that back locks have that really comfortable ones have they have that little like um it's just a little groove so when you push them it's very comfortable or at least contour it in a way to where it's more comfortable to where you could push this thing all day and it's not just tearing your thumb up that's one thing the next thing i would change the clip the clip works good you know there's no complaints about the way it works but 
it'd be probably a little nicer maybe from my pocket if it was maybe possibly just a little taller and maybe just a little tiny bit longer the clip's really not that big of a deal i'd rather change this than this because the clip actually does work really good and it doesn't bother me in the hand which is really nice i like that but those would be the only two things now other knives like uh like say the scale bradley i love this knife this knife has one of my if not my favorite blade shape love the hollow grind everything is so great about this knife but there's one specific thing that still bothers me even though i've changed the other thing the first thing was the liner but i changed that so now the liner is good the for the access to the liner oh my god it was horrible it's horrible and if i had to use this all day at work i'd get mad but now it's fantastic now the next thing that i would change also thanks to slicey dicey for sending me these scales because i love the scales but the next thing is the detent is very soft maybe it's only this one because i've only messed with this one but it's very soft now i can build up pressure and get a good flick every time but i have to kind of put pressure behind it now the other version this detent is great on this frame lock, um, but this is also the Advocate. So this isn't the same model or anything, just the same designer, both Spydercos. But this one has a fantastic detent. If I could put this um, heavy of a detent on this one, oh man, that'd be awesome. And some people would say, well, why don't you just take it apart and strengthen the lock bar? I probably could. Doggone it. I probably could. But look at how far the lock bar's already moved over. I don't think it would be that big of a deal if I strengthen it. And I might do that. I might just do that. But you see how far the lock bar's already moved over. I don't think it's going to go any farther because when I look at the lock geometry, and what I mean is the angle of the lock. I actually have a, a video talking about lock face geometry. But you see how it's got a nice strong angle. I don't think the lock bar, or at least it's going to take a long time until it moves all the way over there. But if I strengthen the lock bar, it'll probably, you know, go faster. Um, but it would still probably be a long time. Now this one is not a hollow grind. This one is a flat grind. I love the hollow on this. So it's kind of like I'd like want to mix up both of these and into just one knife because they're both awesome knives but there's little details on this one i would change and little details on this one that i would change that both of them have just you know not in the same package now i know the perfect knife like let's say it like this the perfect knife for everything doesn't really exist but the perfect knife for edc for me or you I feel like it has to be out there. A lot of people say that doesn't exist. The perfect EDC knife doesn't exist. I can't believe that. I got to know what's out there. Well, one, I'll probably go insane if I ever acknowledge that. I would definitely be very let down. But, you know, there's a lot of knives out there. There's got to be that one out there that just fits every single aspect and corner in every way that I, that's for me. So I believe it's out there somewhere and I'm still chasing it. All right, let's go to this one. So now this one, what would I change on this? So now when I say change, it doesn't mean that that's bad on it, first of all. Ne not necessarily. Maybe in some ways it is, but in other ways it might not be necessarily bad. It just might be something I would change. One thing, I would make this a full, I wouldn't have this dual grind. I'm not too big on dual grinds. But that's not a bad thing, you know. But I would change that, and I would make it a full hollow grind. Now, if I was going to leave it a flat grind, I would give it just a little bit better blade geometry. Other than that, this thing's fantastic. Also, the clip, eh, it's okay, but it's not. It doesn't. It's not very tight, which I know I can always strengthen that. So the clip's okay, but that would be one thing that would be great to change. Also, it might be nicer if you could get to this fuller a little bit better. 
you can get to it though. I don't know if everybody can, but those are small little changes that I think would make this thing even better than it already is. Now, you see I have three Mannixes out here. There's a reason. So one, this one's mine, um, which I appreciate so much because this was gifted to me and people are so awesome in this community. Now, the one thing I said, because I was late to the game on the Mannix, I know, I know, everybody knows about the Mannix and I was late and now I'm coming out and saying how awesome it is. Well, maybe I was just a little stubborn in the past and everybody was raving about it, so maybe I was just stubborn and I didn't get it because everybody else already had it, blah, blah, blah. But then, once I got them in hand and I got the, the extra large and the, the regular one, I knew, man, this knife is amazing. I love, love, love this knife. But what would make it better? The tie cage and the tie scales. And guess what? I got it ordered. It's on the way. Thank you to Timbo because he brought it to my attention. The Flytanium just put some new ones on their uh, website. So I hurried up, got in there and ordered it. The cage was about $39 and then the scales were like 50 or something like that. It was like 90 bucks altogether or just under a hundred, I believe. Either way, got them coming. It's going to be amazing. But that's one thing I would change about this and possibly the clip, but the clip is hard to say because I do have an opportunity to switch the clips. I could put the deep carry one that I have on this knife. I could put that on there, but then I wonder like, is it going to be too high then? You know, because sometimes you think you want to change something until you do, and then you're like, oh, never mind. <laughs> so it might be that might be the case. But yeah, so I uh I might change that, I might not. Now, with the lightweight version, I am not a fan of FR Run. I actually I'm not gonna say hate, I hate the strong word. But I definitely don't like FRN. This FRN, I do like. This is possibly one of the only FRN knives that I think is awesome. I think this knife is amazing in FRN. And I think it's so awesome that they did this knife in FRN. Because it's a very strong, durable knife with fantastic steel. This is Rex 40 if you can see it, Rex 45, but an, an incredibly strong locking mechanism with a lightweight package. So I know it kind of contradicts itself, you know, because the, the plastic, I guess, isn't that strong, but it makes it to where it's as strong as it could possibly be in such a light package. And I think it's awesome. The clip, um, I'd probably be better if it was a loop over clip instead of just that clip, you know, if it was like the loop over wire clip, that'd probably be better. Kind of like what's on, kind of like what's on this. This is the Giant Mouse Ace Biblio, you know. I think that might be a little bit better. It'd sit a little deeper, but this knife's fantastic. What would I change on this thing? Not much. I don't think it's the perfect knife for me, but I wouldn't really change much. Maybe that, that wire clip, just because I think, you know, for what it's for, that's, that's awesome. Um, now you notice I was just talking about the tie scales and, uh, the cage. It'd basically be this in titanium. So this one's all in brass, which I think is fantastic. Also, man, it feels so solid. And that's what I want from this, which I know this is very solid and this is very strong, but to get it in all tie, whoo, I can't wait. So that's basically the same concept, just, you know, titanium instead of brass. Brass is very heavy though. Now, let's move along. The Shuro Goroff. Well, people always tell me something different. Now, if I say it's Haitian, everybody's going to say, no, it's Hatian. And when I say it's Hatian, everybody says, no, it's Haitian. Or no, it's Haitian. Whatever the name is, I think it's Hatian. Anyways, this knife is an amazing, amazing knife. There are a couple things I would change, though. One, 
you know, it kind of feels like the Kershaw leak in the hand because it's, it is very thin, which that's what it's great for, right? That's the point of this is that it's a nice, lightweight, thin, easy to carry, fantastic knife. So I know some of these things, if I change these things, it makes it not the same knife. And if you have the knife, you could be like, that's what I love about that knife. I understand that. So I'm not arguing with you about that. But I would make contoured scales on this. I think that that would just increase the ergos just a little bit. Now this one does have the contoured scales and I love it, but it's also way bigger. So it's two completely different knives. Now this clip also, meh, this clip is fantastic. So let's just move along right to this one because to me, this one, is, I like this one a lot better than this one. And I love both both of these knives they're both fantastic also the flipper tab is very tiny on this don't get me wrong it's an amazing knife amazing flipper the action is fantastic it's just this one's a little bit better you know sometimes you can have a great thing and then something else be just a little bit better so but what would i change on this amazing 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 knife that i love 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 the clip is so good the ergos are so good. And it's hard for me to say this because by saying this, I, it would change everything. It looks kind of steak knife-ish, right? It looks kind of like a steak knife. I think even this knife doesn't look as steak knife-ish as this one. Maybe it's because of this groove up there or the, the type of belly it has. You know how it like bellies up and then back down? with the tip. I do like this blade shape a lot. Maybe if this one had this blade shape on it, I don't know. It's very hard to say, but it's just, which like I said, love, 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 love this knife and cutting with it. This thing is a monster cutter. It just, it's a beast. It cuts so good, but I just feel like the look of and I like simplistic looks. I love a simplistic looking knife, but maybe if the blade shape just had something, something going for it that screamed knife, maybe like a grind, maybe a belt satin grind. That could actually do everything. Maybe a belt satin grind or something. Okay, next, hold Spectre. I always felt like these two knives were, the, were like very, very similar. And every time I seen a picture of this knife, I always thought of this knife and vice versa. Now that I have them both in hand, they are nothing alike. Nothing alike. Completely different. Which is amazing because sometimes knives will remind you of another knife. Then you get it in hand, you're like, no, it doesn't. <laughs> but this thing has such an incredible action. What would I change on it though? Well, one thing is okay so i like this this texture love it love a lot of things about this but it kind of has the same thing as this where it's kind of steak knife ish i think if maybe if the grind was a little different um maybe even if you just did two tone like i know it's a full flat which i like full flat grinds but i don't i don't know maybe um a little something in the blade to where it looked more pocket knife-ish instead of less steak knife-ish, you know? And possibly a little bit more contouring. It's fantastic in the hand, so it's hard for me to say that. But those are one that's the 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 look is just one thing that I think could improve if the blade just had a little bit of a different look to it. Okay. Let's move along. <laughs> I'm not going to probably hit all these knives because we're already at 18 minutes. This knife, I think, is really good the way it is. I don't really want to change anything on this knife. Now, I do not think it's the most perfect knife in the world or anything like that. Um, I think it's far from that, but I think it's perfect the way it is. Maybe a deep carry clip. This is a hinderer clip, so which I think works fantastic. The action is really good. Maybe a little bit stronger detent, but that's also easily fixed. That's not really changing much. So yeah, this one I think is just, it's a great knife. This is a fantastic knife the way it is. Okay, hinders. So I do love hinders. Hinders are 
great. There's so many different variations, so it's hard to say you change anything because they always have another one. Kind of like if you didn't like the flipper tab version, well, guess what? Bang, they have the non-flipper version. But there's still one thing that I would change that they have not done yet. One specific thing. Well, one thing is if I was going to have the flipper, I would want this a little bit less sharp. But that's easily fixed yourself. But that's not it. I wish they would do a full hollow grind or a deep hollow grind. Can you imagine this thing with a full hollow or a deep hollow grind? Oh my God, that'd be amazing. Amazing. Now, even for the XM24, by the way, those were XM18s. This is the ZT0095. Um, but for the XM24, I probably wouldn't. Uh, you know what? If you did put a hollow grind, I wouldn't make it as deep of a hollow grind as these ones. Because this is a big beast of a knife. And I feel like it does need that strength behind it. But, you know, if you did do a hollow grind, just not a very thin thin one like these ones i would do a nice deep hollow grind on i think they would be way better um but we are all ready to the 20 minute mark now i want to know what is your knife that you would change what is something about and you know the same thing with this one i would do the same thing with uh you know i'd make a more comfortable back lock for these, I want to hit them because I didn't want to miss them. These knives are fantastic, but they would be better with a little bit more comfortable of a back lock. Um, and I might change a couple other things. This thing's really cool. I really like this one. But what is a knife that you just think is so fantastic, but there's just one thing that bothers you or two things that bother you about it? And if that was different, that would be like so much better. And then if you have found a perfect knife that just is perfect in every way, you would change nothing. Even if it's on this table, let me know what it is. Now, I never got to the Strider, but I do have a review coming very soon. So stay tuned and watch for that. But one thing about this specific one I would change, I would make this a little less big. Like maybe to the height of the pocket clip right there. I think the Ergos would be just a little bit better. Peace.